Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. A couple of comments in anticipation of the debt ceiling issue being resolved. Um, the fact of the matter is that uh, there is no worldwide recovery. Um, head of Siemens, the gigantic German company, spoke on this point yesterday. There just isn't one. It doesn't matter where you look in the world, things are not looking upbeat or bright or terrific. Um, and that's a fact, and that's going to continue until the U.S. economy resumes its capability as the engine of the world. And that's not going to happen in the next three or four weeks, regardless of the debt ceiling. Number two, uh, you know, one of the other things we're looking at is we, we bring commentaries to you about China because we want, uh, we are attempting to understand how people believe that China is going to lead us out of this recession and become the dominant economic power. We believe that there are substantial and serious internal problems in China which will prevent that. One of the things we're focusing on this morning is Christianity in China. Uh, there are a huge number of underground churches. Uh, there are very, very active and there are millions of Chinese Christians who are being suppressed by the a Chinese government. In other words, they are not allowed to have public services, they're not allowed to have public seminaries, yet and still the, the Christian movement in China is growing apace. Uh, part of the reason for this is the government's fear that as people learn more about Christianity, uh, that they then become more interested in freedom. And that's a very legitimate fear on the part of the government. That's no joke. So uh, we just want to focus uh, your thoughts on if you are a praying person, try to give some positive thoughts in the direction of people who are fighting repression every day and are being jailed for simply believing uh, in their own uh, version of spirituality. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day.